Hi DIYers, Joey from Alarm Grid, and today we're going to talk about how the Qolsys IQ2 panel speaks to Alarm.com. Now, Alarm.com is the monitoring or is the service that the IQ2 connects to to allow it to remotely communicate and for it to be set up with a monitoring center or a central station rather. We offer two different levels of service. We have the full monitoring plans, which do have central station service. That's gonna give you automatic police, fire, and medical dispatch, and somebody's gonna call you. A live operator will reach out on an alarm. We also have self-monitoring service, which doesn't use the central station, but it does connect the system to alarm.com. You still get the remote communication with it. You can use the alarm.com app, set up your uh, text or email notifications, and you'll still be able to interact with the system. On either plan level though, the Qolsys IQ2 is gonna communicate with alarm.com in the same manner. Now, any panel that communicates or connects to alarm.com has to have an alarm.com cellular radio installed in the system, as that cellular radio is gonna have the information needed for, the mo or for your dealer to activate your system on alarm.com. Nice thing about the IQ2, it has a built-in cellular communicator, so you don't have to buy any additional modules for the system. It also has a built-in Wi-Fi communicator, which you can also use for system communication. This is an opposed to something like the GC3, which does have a built-in Wi-Fi module, but it doesn't have a built-in cellular communicator, and you have to buy it and install it after the fact. So the IQ2, it has everything set up and built in. And in fact, it's super easy to figure out the information that you need to give to your dealer to activate the system. All you have to do is after you power it up, click on the screen, slide down the menu, do settings, click on advanced settings, enter the installer code. Our default is 1111, the default for the panel. Click on about, and then click on cellular. Now right here, you're going to see a number that says the IMEI. This is the number that your uh, dealer is going to need to activate the system. When they get this number, they'll be able to set up an alarm.com account for the IQ2 panel. Once that's built, it's going to wait for signals to be sent from the IQ to alarm.com. They're able to ping down to the system, which can sometimes work to get that communication established. Most of the times, though, they're going to need you to enable a cell test on the system, which will send a ping up to alarm.com and that will establish communication between the server and the system. Now, the system also has that built-in Wi-Fi module, and with both of these connected, the, <clears throat> the Wi-Fi module you have to join to a Wi-Fi network. The cellular module automatically connects to a cellular network as long as it has signal or is in range of one. With these both enabled and connected, the system is going to use both paths of communication to communicate with alarm.com. This is great for end users because it provides you with a couple of different benefits. One is that when you use your app to do uh, remote control, especially for Z-Wave devices like lights, locks, and thermostats, you're going to find that when the system's connected to Wi-Fi, those commands are going to be super fast. I have an alarm.com system installed in my house, and it, the latency on normal days is about three to four seconds for a command from ADC from the phone, which is great. And that's because it's communicating up through that Wi-Fi path. So if you do have Wi-Fi where you're installing the IQ2, it's definitely re recommended to connect it to that. Another benefit you get from that dual path communication is that with alarm.com, especially on a monitored account, <clears throat> you'll see the greatest benefit. The system is gonna signal both paths on every signal to alarm.com and it's gonna discard the one that it doesn't need. It's gonna accept the one that it gets first, get rid of the other one. What this does is that if the event that, uh, in the event that a communication path goes down, like the Wi-Fi, that cellular signal is still going to come up to alarm.com. It's still going to be able to process it. And if it's an alarm signal and you have a central station connected to the system, it's going to send that right to central station and begin the dispatch process. Now, if you do have the system monitored by a central station, all of the signals are actually going through alarm.com before they get sent to the central station. What this does, or the benefits that it gives you, is that as Alarm.com is a, is, a, is a big platform, manages tons of different systems, it will ensure that the signals that are coming up, everything can be processed. If there's any issues with signals, we'll know about it, or your dealer is going to know about it and can let you know. Diagnostics can be run on the panel. Continual supervisions can be, or a continual supervision can be set up so that Alarm.com is continually checking to see if your panel is communicating, 
Um, it's also supporting the app that you use, and it kind of ties everything together. So the fact that the IQ2 can connect to Alarm.com is a great, great feature, and it brings a lot of stuff out of the panel that you may not find with other uh, panels out there on the market. That's pretty much how the IQ2 communicates with Alarm.com. If you did enjoy the video, feel free to head over to our website, get, shoot us an email at support at alarmgrid.com, give us a call 888-818-7728. If you did like the video, feel free to subscribe. If you want to be updated about future videos, hit the notification button below and we'll send an update to you when we post them. Thanks for watching and have a great day.